Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and, and with, with thy, thy spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And we say together, Almighty God, unto whom, whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write all these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon the whole church, and so rule the heart of thy chosen servant, Elizabeth, our Queen and Governor, that she, knowing whose minister she is, may above all things seek thy honour and glory and that we and all her subjects, duly considering whose authority she hath, may faithfully serve, honour and humbly obey her, in thee and for thee, according to thy blessed word and ordinance, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever one God, world without end. Amen. We beseech thee, almighty God, mercifully to look upon thy people, that by thy great goodness they may be governed and preserved evermore, both in body and soul, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all them that are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The lesson is taken from Exodus, chapter 24, beginning at the fourth verse. And Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord. He rose early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain and set up 12 pillars corresponding to the 12 tribes of Israel. He sent young men of the people of Israel who offered burnt offerings and sacrificed oxen as offerings of well-being to the Lord. Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins and half of the blood he dashed against the altar. Then he took the Book of the Covenant and read it in the hearing of the people. And they said, All that the Lord has spoken we will do, and we will be obedient. Moses took the blood and dashed it on the people and said, See the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words. Here endeth the lesson. The Holy Gospel is written in the eighth chapter of the Gospel according to St. John, beginning at the 46th verse. Glory, Glory be, be to, to thee, thee O Lord. Lord. Which of you convicts me of sin? If I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? Whoever is from God hears the words of God. The reason you do not hear them is that you are not from God. 
The Jews answered him, Are we not right in saying that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honour my father and you dishonour me. Yet I do not seek my own glory. There is one who seeks it and he is the judge. Very truly I tell you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died and so did the prophets. Yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never take death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? The prophets also died. Who do you claim to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, he of whom you say, he is our God, though you do not know him, but I know him. If I would say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you, but I do know him and I keep his word. Your ancestor rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, you are not yet 50 years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, before Abraham was, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be, be to, to thee, thee O Christ. Christ. Let us proclaim our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and, and of all things visible and, and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets, and I believe one Catholic and Apostolic Church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ, Christ Church Militant here in earth. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations and to receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity and concord and grant that all they that do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word 
and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also to save and defend all Christian kings, princes and governors, and specially thy servant Elizabeth our Queen, that under her we may be godly and quietly governed, and grant unto her whole council and to all that are put in authority under her, that they may truly and impartially minister justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops, priests and deacons, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and specially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succour all them who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other kind of adversity. We continue this morning to pray for those suffering from COVID, both here in the United Kingdom in the continent of Europe and across the world. We pray for those who care for them. And we pray for those administering the vaccine. And we remember particularly this morning, Nazazine Zakari Radcliffe, as she waits her fate in Iran today. We pray for her and for her family and ask that God strengthens and supports her. And we pray for our own parish. And we remember this morning all those who are unwell. Those who are unwell in hospital, at home, and those who suffer in silence and are known only to Almighty God. And we remember particularly this morning, Charlie Parrish. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear. And we remember those whose anniversary falls this week. Barbara Hobbs, Mary Last, Jeff Roberts, Joyce Domain, Winston Pritchard and Pamela Hanbury Sparrow. Lord, we beseech thee to give us grace so to follow their good examples that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Ye that do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbours, and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith, and take this holy sacrament to your comfort, and make your humble confession to Almighty God, meekly kneeling upon your knees. And we say together, Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men. We acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honour and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Saviour Christ saith unto all they that truly turn unto him. Come unto me, all that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul saith, this is a true saying and worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John saith, if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. The Lord be with you, and, and with, with thy spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It, it is, is meet and right and so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God. And therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying together, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And we say the prayer of humble access together. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same, Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. And did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee and grant that we, receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks he brake it, And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Amen.
draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died and lives for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for you, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. blood of our Lord Jesus Christ which was shed for you, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. As our Saviour Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say together, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord and Heavenly Father, we thy humble servants entirely desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and our bodies to be a reasonable, holy and lively sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that all we who are partakers of this holy communion may be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction. And although we be unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offences. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honour and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.